let's get to cooking. This is what we're doing today at Mima's house. Hey y'all, welcome back to Mima's house. I am in the throes of prepping for our family vacation. Us and my sister and her husband and their family are going off with us to the beach and we have to have food ready. That's my job and I like doing that. So we're prepping a lot of stuff today to take on our trip. I have my trusty notebook here and you know I'm already making a list and have been making one for the last four weeks. This is what we'll be preparing. Lasagna roll-ups, a vegan lasagna roll-up, Korean beef, marinated chicken. We're going to wash and bag our fruit and our salads. I'm going to make some ginger shots. May not do that on camera. You've seen that before. I'm going to make a spaghetti salad. You've seen me do that before. I'm not going to do that. And I'm going to make a chicken salad. So we got a lot of stuff to do. And I'll bring you along as much as I can to help prep for what we're going to eat for the next week or so. So let me get my apron on and we'll get to prepping. Here are the ingredients that we'll be prepping. We're going to start our prep by prepping our vegetables and our fruits. We're going to wash them, let them drain, and then I'll go ahead and put them in a gallon size Ziploc bag. Now I bought four or five heads of romaine lettuce from Sam's Club because I knew that I, we were going to have salad on one night and we we're going to have lettuce for wraps with the bulgogi on another night. Now here's the salted water that I'm going to cook our lasagna noodles in. And I'll insert a clip here of the how, to, how I fix those lasagna roll-ups. Okay, here I'm getting ready to prep all of my chicken thighs. I bought a big pack of chicken thighs. And I normally wash and clean them. And then I season them with a dry seasoning and then add the Italian dressing. In order to wash my chicken, I normally rub it down with a lot of salt. Then I rinse it off twice. What you're seeing is my second rinse. I'm putting slits in the just the this, this top surface of the chicken thighs so that when I go to marinate them, all of the seasonings will get through the chicken, throughout the chicken. Here's the list of the ingredients for the dry seasoning that I'm putting on the chicken.
Now I'm going to lay these flat and put them in the freezer so that they can freeze and travel well for us. Now the lasagna is all done, it's al dente, and I'm going to go ahead and put it in a bowl, put some olive oil on it so that it can be ready to roll up. Now I'm slicing zucchini really thinly so that I can have zucchini noodles for Uncle Sam's vegan or vegetarian or plant-based lasagna. Now I'm going to arrange these on a parchment paper lined cookie sheet, put some seasoning on them, put some olive oil on them, and put them in a 400 degree oven so I can roast the zucchini. In the meanwhile, let's go ahead and chop up our onion, which looked like it was chopping all by itself there for a minute, for our spaghetti sauce that will go in our lasagna. So with a quarter cup of oil, olive oil, and the onions, I'm adding a quarter cup of flour to begin a plant-based bechamel sauce. I'm going to cook the flour for about a minute to get the flour taste out, and then I'm going to use oat milk to make the sauce. I'm adding a little flour because it, it seemed a little bit oily for me. So I'm going to add the flour, let that cook a little bit, and now I'm adding the oat milk. Now I'm adding a plant-based cheese by Follow the Heart, and it's a real cute little package, but I'm adding that and I have some mozzarella cheese that I will add to the actual lasagna. Now these veggies will add to the sauce, I put carrots, more onions, I have garlic in here, and I'm going to add some peppers. And the meat texture will come from lentils, which I'm soaking in a bowl over near the, the sink. If you're interested in a detailed video on how I made the vegan lasagna, comment down below and I will do my best to get a video out for you. And you see that I have my spaghetti noodles cooking in the other pan for my spaghetti salad. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some Italian seasoning, my spaghetti sauce, and let the lentils and the other veggies cooked down to a sauce, a meat sauce texture. And yes, I did add a little bit of water to that spaghetti sauce because it was the end of the jar. And you know how we do, we add water to it so we can get every drop of that spaghetti sauce. Okay, so the zucchini pasta is done. Now, I have let the lasagna sauce cook for about 30 minutes to get the lentils nice and tender. And I'm going to add some of that to the bottom of my prepared pan. And you see, this is my throwaway pan. I've sprayed it with some Pam so that it won't stick. And we'll begin to layer our zucchini pasta and our sauce and our cheese sauce.
Now I'm trying to smooth the bechamel cheese sauce over the in, all the noodles so that it can be from up end to end in the pan. Now this is the final layer, and that's the, the bechamel layer, and I'm going to add some of the mozzarella plant-based cheese to make it nice and cheesy. We added some plant-based cheese in between those layers as well. Now I'm going to cover this up with two or three layers of aluminum foil so that I can freeze it. It freezes well and it will travel well with us. Now it's time to make the bulgogi. I'm going to pull the marinade together and I'll put the ingredients on the screen. To my shaved beef, I'm adding some ground beef that I had left over from the lasagna sauce.
y'all. So I'm checking my list off. I got all of my stuff done. I got my lasagna roll-ups done. They're right here. I got my Korean beef done and I made a little extra sauce. So that's the bulgogi. I got my marinated chicken done. I got my vegan lasagna done. That's back here. I got my spaghetti salad done. I have washed and bagged the fruits and the salads. So I am checking off my list because you know I live by list. So I'm checking my list off. I have a couple more things to do. I'm going to make my ginger shots. Not tonight, but we'll do that in the morning. Then I can take a ginger shot and I think that's it. We'll be done. And then we can pack it all up and leave town. So that's how Mima gets ready to go out of town with all of the crew. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to put it down in the comments. Ask me whatever you will. I'll try to give you an answer and y'all be blessed. Bye. Hey y'all. So you know I'm on vacation. So this is going to be a short video. I just wanted to show you how I'm making the beef bulgogi that we put together for our trip. Here it is. Hold on. And there's our rice. We got that. I made um, Uncle Sam a little bowl or a little pan of tofu bulgogi. Because, you know, he's not eating the meat. So there that is. And then I just put my bulgogi in the pan and, and stirring it up with some fresh um, veggies. Now, traditional bulgogi does not have the peppers in it. But, hey, this is my bulgogi. So I'm eating what I want to eat and cook in the way I want to cook. The flavors are still the same. So, there it is. No one must ask my grandson. Yes, he did. Crumbs. <laughs> Cereal on the floor. Crumbs. No, it's fine. Oh, you okay. Get it in the refrigerator, but he's Turn not. Turn it around mm. still. So I can read it. A boom. Kim to the chi. Um, We're getting ready to eat our Korean style dinner. We got everybody here. People, <laughs> he's waving. <laughs> Ari's there. You know Noah's not eating Korean. I'm still in Uncle Sam are here. All right. So. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to comment down below if you have anything you'd like to say. And like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Y'all be blessed. Bye.